Everyone and their dog turned up to the Christchurch Arts Centre today to congratulate the Crusaders on their win against the South African Lions in the Super Rugby, with some fans surprised at the result of the match. I was surprised, staunch Crusaders supporter, but uh, I didn't know if they'd do it, to be fair. I knew they would do it. Yeah. And from the beginning, right from the beginning. At least now we're back where we belong, on top. Just hours after arriving home, the Crusaders went to show off their cup and meet dedicated fans. Crusaders coach Scott Robertson was also taking part in the celebration. I'm just really stoked for a lot of the players that have played for a long time and um, been really, really close. Um, now they get to make their own part of history in a famous jersey like the Crusader jersey and it's a chance for, for them to put a bit of to bed, you know, because the era before it created so much of an expectation that uh, um, now they've created their own and it's might continue. The weather wasn't too great, but that didn't stop fans from coming out to see their heroes. Christchurch Mayor Leanne Dalziel also showed up in supporter colours to publicly congratulate the city's champions. Look, honestly, for, we, we had um, less than 24 hours to organise it, really. So I think that the team put it together really well. Um, the, the Crusaders insisted that it was outside of school hours so that the kids could come along, and I thought that was really good. So we had a really short window, one hour, where we could bring them in, take them down a street, bring them here, have a couple of speeches and then let them go. And they've left the cut behind so that people can have a photograph. They've really looked after the city and the city's turned out to say congratulations. With fans happy, it was time for the Crusaders to go home and have a much deserved rest. This is Andrea Marshall for Metro News.